right, everybody. It is that time. It is round four. Championship round. The final round, the championship round, the final table, whatever you want to call it here at Grognards, Batavia, it is time to determine who might win this world's invite. Uh, so here's the deal. Nick Tobin, who's playing the Resistance list you see on the right, has already won a world's invite. But Francois, on the left, he's playing Republic, has not won a world's invite yet. So the implications here, if Francois wins, he wins a world's invite. But if Nick wins, then it will roll down. And it will come down to the strongest SOS of the three and ones still active in this event, which could be, we, I think we'll, we'll try to figure that out as soon as the game ends, if that's the case. Uh, but that, you know, there's a lot of people that will be wondering like, okay, you know, well, how does this shake out? SOS is a little weirder with a four round event. I'm not a huge fan of SOS and small events or, or small number of round events, but it's still for four rounds, it still matters. So. That will be the tiebreaker to determine if uh, Nick Tobin wins. Um, but nonetheless, we do have this 3-0 versus 3-0 matchup. Final table matchup should be a ton of fun. Um, let me open up betting. We'll, we'll break down uh, the list here in a second. But just to show you all one last time here. This is what we look like, if you forgot, in case you forgot. It's just it's fun. you all to know that this we have faces. It's not just voices from the ether, kind of like you know, like the you know nectar of the gods, you know, blanketing these games. Although last game, I felt like I was a sports broadcaster last game. That was really fun. That was a good time. That was oh, but this is we got the invite on the line here. Got the nice shiny shiny. The last last time I streamed uh, official events, uh, Kayla Lou, uh, Marcel's wife, won their 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 invite. And then our last event at Good Games, Jared, aka Fishsticks, who I got had to got to have uh, on stream at the end of the event at Good Games. He he won an invite, so we and he's here today. Of, and he's here today amongst the the two and a lot of people have played today. It's like a gauntlet of people who had already won World's invites playing today. <laughs> so it's it's uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting. Is that and it makes it even more difficult to win when you go through all those people, right? Um, whose list do you want to break down here? As we're playing Salvage Mission, so I can do oh, Francois. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. So Francois is bringing the uh, the Galactic Republic. Um, starting off at the top of the list is uh, Anakin Skywalker and the Delta Seven B Aether Sprite. So three hull, three shields, um, three three attack dice. So Anakin is uh, he's definitely going to do his best to, to bully um, Nick's uh, Nick's resistance friends. So um, Anakin comes with extreme maneuvers, marksmanship, R seven A seven for that extra crit generating, and synchronized council. Um, up next in the list is. Uh, Looks like the Siege of Coruscant Oddball. So six all four shields comes uh, standard with selfless veteran tail gunner and R4P um, astromech, uh, which definitely definitely comes in handy um, with uh, especially with some of those turn maneuvers to um, oh, make yeah. whites and blues and reds and reds white. So that's uh, um, R4P is an awesome awesome upgrade on uh, on these uh, on these arcs. And then he's got a custom wolf. So Wolf has expert handling, veteran tail gunner, and then, um, and then bringing the R4P astromech. So I think it's a, it's a huge upgrade on Wolf, like being able to have that R4P because it, it does open up his dial um, a healthy amount. Because I know for the like for the sock um, Wolf, um, it's it's almost like an unplayable um, astromech. Like the Q7 is just it yeah, doesn't. It's genuinely not good. Yeah, um, and Thank then. You. Also living at uh, initiative four is uh, Click, in uh, yeah. So Click with uh, two hulls, two shields, um, living that that best uh, viewing life. Um, R three Astromech, which is um, feels like is a main staple on him. Synchronized Council, the the bash configuration, and then seismic charges. And then last but not least, um, everybody's uh, favorite two point uh, hey. Z ninety five slider years. with Lone Wolf. Um, yeah, sliders, uh, and especially in this scenario, I think slider brings a brings a lot of value, um, yeah. and having like that uh, that two sides that being uh, being blue can can definitely come in handy. So, um, super solid squad. Like, I mean, two arcs plus uh, plus Anakin Skywalker feels feels really quite strong, and, and then two uh, two ships that are I mean both support and just uh, I mean great great in objective play. Um, yeah, Francois, like not surprised that he's three and zero so far today with his list. Yeah, love Slider. More of a curveball fan myself. Slider's good. 
Womp, womp, womp. All right, on the right side here, Nick Tobin. Uh, he won his world's invite. It's been a while. It's been since like the fall of last year. Uh, Nick, well known, great player in the, the uh, X Wing community, especially here in our local area community. Uh, he is. Uh, he won his invite with Republic, and he now is bringing resistance. Poe Dameron leads us off here. He's got Trick Shot, Lone Wolf, Chewbacca Crew, Ray Gunner. We have the engine upgrade and, of course, the Ray's William Falcon title. Poe and the Falcon is just so good. Super fun, too, being able to spend those charges to ignore obstacles, to do the free barrel roll. Uh, he can do, It's barrel or boost, right, as well? Like, you yes. can choose which one? Yeah. Yep. And, and sometimes you can do both. Where it's just like, <laughs> I'm going to do my uh, special ability for the, the barrel and then, like, boost right after. It's just like, yeah, that's dirty. Yeah, and then Ray, yeah, Ray got her to back up the shot still. Super good. L.O. Asti in the T-70. We've seen a lot of L.O. Asti today. But LO's back. Marksmanship, crack shot, Ferocifer, paint. Three very different LO builds as well. As John's last turn, he had a shield upgrade on LO and nothing else. Jarek Jaeger and the fireball at I-5. Three points, good value. High initiative. Marksmanship, heroic, M9G8 to give that reroll to a friendly. And targeting computer as well as Kaz's fireball. Title, Temin Wexley with heroic, Ferocifer, paint. We've got R6D8, the Super Predator droid that friendlies can take advantage of as well as himself. Depending on how many friends have that enemy in Bullseye, they get that many rerolls on attack. And then BB-8, of course, save the best for last with uh, automated target priority and Han crew. Those are your lists. Be sure to get your bets in. I want to see as many people betting as possible because I don't think we've seen a bet yet. If we don't get a bet at all. I'm going to have to just forcibly end the stream right before something epic happens just to be petty. I think that's what I'm going to do. And you think, wow, we really go to great lengths to do that over some meaningless betting? Absolutely. <laughs> you don't know me? <laughs> you think you know me? Mega Silver, what's up, Tommy? Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. That is a resub. 20 months. That is over a year and a half. It's amazing. Yeah, let's -a go indeed. Let's -a go. Be sure bet, well, betting will be open for about 15, a little under 15 minutes. We'll get an engage here soon. Because we got some some folks at the top of the board. It looks like it's going to be, it's Temin and Elo kind of coasting at the top there. Uh, being aggressive. Was that four straight boosts? From both of them. It sets them up nicely to be able to turn in, hard turn in the next turn. And there's Poe, just focusing. Typically with Ray being able to convert the blank, Poe just likes to focus, right? He's not often taking target locks. For certain. And then additionally, he's like, I mean, once, uh, once some of uh, Nick's ships are taking some damage, um, then, then Chewie comes into play as well. Um, and so, no, like Poe is just a, I mean, his offensive efficiency is, I mean, is through the roof between like, just having, grabbing the focus, having Ray to change a blank, um, and then Chewie changing a focus to a crit. He's, uh, yeah. um, no, when he's, when he's slowed well, he's, uh, he's a monster. Yeah. Poe is, su su I haven't been able to play Poe yet. I've been trying to, I want to get like the components to play Poe. Cause I don't have the resistance conversion kit, but I really don't want to buy the resistance conversion kit. You know, I just want to like buy the dial and <laughs> I think in the, and that's about it. I think I just need the dial to be honest, right? Because the cardboard came in the hot shots and aces too. Um, I have a falcon. You can, you can probably just scoop it up off of uh, off of eBay for nothing, not too expensive. I think so. Yeah. I had to revisit that. I think I was trying to get the components for Ray as well. I was like, well, if I'm gonna fly one, I'd like to have the components for both. And for some reason, it was difficult to find someone willing to sell me just Ray's components. I can understand because Ray's actually good. <laughs> but Poe seems to have emerged as the favorite between the two. Just Ray, Ray, I think, is a... And not to say that her ability... I mean, her ability is super strong. Uh, she can do a ton of damage, but she's a little bit of a one-trick pony. I think people enjoy the, the flexibility and kind of unpredictiveness and craziness that Poe gives you at I-6. And Ray can still be aboard there as a gunner. Best of both worlds. It's definitely one of those things where flying Ray is, I mean, very similar. I mean, Ray flies in a very different style. I would say even compared to like pretty much all the other, I mean, all the other uh, uh, Falcons. 
Um, kind of a similar way that I mean, I mean, Boba flies differently than all the other all the other fire sprays. That I mean, you could be a good fire spray player, um, and like, and like your Boba play might like may not be as strong, and you might be a good Boba player. And you might you might not be good with any other fire spray. Yeah, yeah, um, I think that's definitely the case. The latter is probably even more yeah. likely. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's definitely one of those things where I mean, there there are definitely some I mean, some some players in the community that are I mean that are elite with Ray. Um, and that like really know how to like, yeah. position her and fly her so that like, it's not just like oh I like I got to do a couple shots before I got burned down and um, you know, there's been a couple times I've flown against uh, um, some Ray Falcon players that was just like wow like that was like that was awesome yeah. and like um, the but, the front to back arc thing too that so it's it's smaller so that yeah it's why yeah people who are good at playing Ray like it's it's impressive because. You have to keep that front arc. You don't. You never rotate your your turret. Like you just never do it. Um, it's so super. It's almost like a no no <laughs> to do it. Uh, Poe though, side to side, front to back, whatever. Usually side to side. Keep that arc extra wide. Uh, trick shot, super good. And here we go. We're chasing ourselves a Poe. So this is click, click, click didn't take locks on anybody. Oh no! I guess he's just putting one on Poe. Okay, so no, 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 not giving any friendlies target locks. Although for the side of the board, I mean, having the lock on, uh, having a lock on Poe is, I mean, essentially, the, essentially the same. Um, yeah. Yeah. Take away that because we're getting uh, seeing Wolf take a crate. And it's away that range bonus. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me to see if. Uh, um, if Oddball does a, a four straight with the uh, the R four P, um, and then grabs grabs that focus to be able to share for uh, for board for this, the Oddball is uh, you could definitely argue that Oddball is the best four, four point ship in the game right now. Yeah, Oddball is uh, Oddball super good. It's almost, I always am drawn to compare anything at four points with Oddball. I feel like that's the basis of comparison. All right, well, like, what can this do compared to what can Oddball can do at four points? And that goes back to the whole discussion about balanced within a faction versus balanced compared to others. But I think you're right about Oddball being probably the best four point option. His ability, too. Like, there's just so much you can be born for this. Selfless. I5, selfless, extra shield, R4P. Has the you have to work for, it, but I mean potentially can get the get the double tap with the uh, better, better Absolutely. Coming. We're being aggressive with taking crates. As three of them have already been taken, two on Nick's side, one there for Francois so far. Interesting sliders just kind of slider isn't sliders already moved. It's just right there for Temin. You try to claim? Yeah, that's that's not the range one. I don't think so. So probably just grabbing the focus and then be able to have that for uh, for board for this. Should be at range two of uh, of click there. Exciting here to listen in. I'll do a target lock. Yep. We got it. Throw that purple lock out there on foe, just done. in. My fives. Yep, flip open. This is just a preference thing, but for me, like, etiquette wise, like, putting locks on somebody's base is a little annoying. <laughs> Because they're gonna have to pick it up and it's gonna fly off. So I get it, because you just want it to be like you want to stay on there, but it will fall off. <laughs> Too hard there for Ello. Just there with the focus. Here comes Jarek. Do we see a slam? He focuses. And he locked Ello for the M9G8 reroll. Ello benefits from that. Offensive reroll. 
Anakin turned in. Ooh. What do you think here, Steven? What are you, uh, you going in on LO at range one? And I feel like you almost kind of have to, because then it also creates some, some separation from Poe. Yeah, you definitely need to get out of there. Yes. Because right now, I mean, Anakin doesn't, like, Anakin's only shot is on, is on Jaeger. Um, and, yeah, for six hole and three points, it's like that's, I feel like you almost have to, you have to go into LO here. Um, I, I guess technically it's it would be five hole, right? I know that we have to I have to fit the overlay with the damage card that is dealt. Yep. I got it. I got you. I got you. Yeah. If anything, get some damage in Elo. Make Elo strip the focus. So maybe maybe like a fine tuned. Are you thinking about doing something wonky with extreme maneuvers? Yeah. I don't know if you can. Oh, I guess you could. Oh, could you extreme? For yeah, you could extreme and then one and then barrel roll. I think you could add arc, right? That maybe. Feel... Oh, I think it it would fit. Let's listen in what he's thinking. I'll try it. What the hell? Extreme maneuvers. Extreme maneuvers. Oh, is he gonna oh, do it? He's going for it. <clears throat> oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know. He has a space. He doesn't have a space. No. He does not yeah. have a space. Got too close it's that gas not where I wanted to barrel roll in. And he was listening to us. <laughs> not going to get me there. So I will. That's all right. Oh. I was tempted to shoot a Temin. <clears throat> Here comes Poe. Is Poe's turrets side to side right now? And there go those <laughs> target locks. <laughs> yeah, it's, you it's, called it. it's side to side. Poe boost. So free boost. Poe's ability to spend that charge. Action rotate. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Your shot first. Yeah, that's a lot of shots in the Anakin. All right, so my sixes range one into. Did he take the stress? Uh, well, let me see. I'm gonna probably go range one into uh, Temin actually. Yeah, yeah, going into Temin here. All right, so this is Anakin taking that range one. Ooh, Whoa! That is it. See you later, crate. And yeah. Temin and no points are seven, eight, takes seven. it all. Takes it all. So. Free shields down on Mr. Wexley. Box comes off. Range two. Ooh, range two. That yeah, turtle up, Anakin. So here we go with Poe. Oh, not great, Bob. He's not even going to blow the force. Okay, here this is a nice shot here. This is uh, Elo Asti shooting into Anakin, range one. That is a full string of three hits and a crit. Anakin, double paint, spend the focus, take two shields. Certainly could have been much worse for Anakin. Well, yeah, especially if he loses two shields there. Imagine if Poe rolled any paint. Now, yep. range dice. one. Or four dice, sorry. Four dice into slider. Not bad. Reroll with R6D8 here because you got slider, not bullseye. And hey, <laughs> there it is. Another full string of three hits and a crit. Lots of full string so far. String can't get any fuller. Slider did not take a crate. This, this is a focus, though. Bullseye shot, so that's why I'm allowed to have yeah. one reroll. Okay. I'm wondering about why I got the reroll. <laughs> By slider dedicate. Oh, 
<laughs> one shot oh, slider. So there, you just clear everything off, slider. Good, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, my friend. It is time to uh, head home. So Nick Tobin sends slider packing in one shot. Single modded is enough, and it is two points for Nick in terms of a, of uh, chip scoring. I don't think anyone else is shooting, right? That would be it. Yeah, it looks that way. So Nick has one. Nothing. Has one crate, and Francois has one crate. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, three to one. Oh, we have BB-8 checking. Oh, shooting at Anakin. Let's not forget about BB-8. on Anakin. Okay. You have A Force active. Yeah. yeah thanks, guys. Go. Sorry. I, I, I wrote it off. Watch it matter. Nothing. Automated target <laughs> priority. Definitely. Calculate. All right. We're back to dials. It's three to one. That's the end of the round. So. Oh, you would have gotten the free calculate. No. Oh, oh, hi guys. Sorry, wrong screen. Sometimes I do this where I, I, I think I hit the certain button and I, I hit the wrong one. This is seeing me with my crazy hair today. Steven's looking great, though, of course. It's easy when you don't have any hair on the top. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll get that. <laughs> yeah, Sir Sir Patrick Stewart is definitely my uh, my role model when it comes to uh, yeah when, oh, it, comes, when it comes to the them. Ben the Kingsley there. and Sir Patrick Stewart, two two icons. So, for sure, uh, you should be correct. Uh, it was on the far side. Oh, he has a strap? Oh, okay. Well, we're good. <laughs> All right, round three coming up. Again, shout out to our sponsor, Strata Strike, exclamation point sponsor. You can save 50% off the entire store. It says X-Wing items. It's not just X-Wing items. Strata Strike, where precision meets passion and gaming, all your gaming needs. So that first engage, at the cost of losing an entire ship, Two shields on Anakin. You get three shields on Temin. Not good. Because <laughs> I think it's Francois in a is in a difficult position right now because uh, Wolf isn't like Wolf's not really able to attack a whole lot of, of Nick's list, um, and he's I mean arguably your your heaviest hitter, and so I mean, probably seeing the oddball turning in and picking picking up picking up the crate. Um, and Anakin is I mean, Anakin is in a, in a spot right now where it's like he, like he has to be fairly defensive. Yeah, he's, I mean he's got to just get out of there now. It's unfortunate because without slide, not that slider was really any offensive part of your list, but your list goes down to four ships, and the five ships on the other side are are more capable of dealing damage than what you have left. Your arcs. Poe, you're just not going to be able to catch Poe. So your, your best bet is sh taking shots in the T-70s. Temin would be the soonest you could take down. That would be four points. So get a couple crates and try to get Temin down and, and then revisit where you're at. But in the process, you've got to keep Anakin alive. You should always keep Anakin alive. He's seven points, but now more than ever. I don't even want to think about what would happen to Anakin if Poe had actually rolled a couple hits because he could be down to two hole right now. Because right now, I mean, looking at like, where Nick's ships are at, it's probably a, a two two bank with Temin, um, and then puts him in a position where he can pick pick up the crate again. Because I don't, I mean, if Anakin is uh, really gung gung ho about about going after Temin again, um, he's going to be taking some some shots. And I mean, even Nell's in a great spot to potentially bump Anakin right now. Um, Stephen, before I forget, while we have a chance, I want to take a picture of us doing this, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Quick little cheese. Nice. 
Great photo, folks. All right, we're double checking here. A part of me, like, I kind of have a little bit of an inherent bias for Francois just because he's the one without the world's invite. But, you know, I'm not. <laughs> I like both of these guys a lot. And they're also, it's a good, great matchup between the two. So Nick's going to be first player again. Or moves to Nick. So... So at least Anakin will know where Poe where po is going to be at. Throwing that jam on Anakin. Yep, you can jam it to range two in Bullseye. Anakin, I think he has got all his force right now. We got a three bank from, uh, from Temin. Did you boost? Oh, yeah. Straight up. Now the arcs are being threatened by Temin. He's like on, on their flank right behind him. So we got a two straight from, from Wolf. Whose charge is active right now, so... Yeah, only three out the back at range one. Here comes click. Gonna just boost. It just it just feels so futile to be chasing. Uh, you're just trying to get in the fight, so I don't think this is bad positioning whatsoever. But it just feels futile to be chasing, especially with a two dice gun, chasing Poe. <laughs> like, yeah, you got to lock on him. You, maybe you get a damage hit, but he is not going to be anywhere nearby. And Elo does a four straight here. So uh, nice, nice positioning. I really like the way Nick has set everything up this turn. He is threatening big time with with Temin. The most damaged is now. You know, Francois is going to have to go out of his way to go after him. Elo, a big threat there with the M9G8 reroll middle of the board. Poe, you just don't know where he's going to be. But trick shot is a factor. Go after Anakin, or you just change your mind and go after the Arcs. You get a few shots on him. They can burn fast. So are you at the point, Steven, when playing so many Arc 170s just because, like, Team USA and everything, like, are you, like, kind of tired of it in the sense of, like, do you just kind of, like, try to just, like, play anything but Arcs right now when you can? Or, like, um, what are you, what's your, what, how do you look at that? Sure. I mean, it, I definitely enjoyed me flying the Arcs. Um, but it's, it's definitely one of those things where, like, when you're getting to the end of the, like, when you're getting to the end of a, um, of, a, of a meta, um, that you start thinking, like, right, well, what's the next thing going to be? Right. Is, I mean... I mean the stuff that's I mean clearly been I mean at the top of I mean most most tables um, is probably just gonna be like well like that's probably gonna go up in points so um, so they're just trying to find like what are some of those next combination of like things are like these ships were doing well like they weren't necessarily the the top of the power curve and so then the chance of them staying um, staying where they're at in point like in mm -hmm. points or maybe getting to, maybe getting some extra loadout um, so yeah just finding like well what's the, what's going to be like the like potentially the next the next, the next new thing um, and yeah i mean i i would say i mean i would feel very confidently that i mean at least i mean at the very least oddball is going to go up in points and then yeah the rest of the i mean the rest of the the sock arcs like well maybe they maybe they stay put at um maybe they stay put at four maybe they go up to five but um and you know, it's, it's also like when you when you hit the end of a, when you get to the other side of a competitive season. Oh um, no! Why? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you no. there, Stephen. As uh, we're going to get a block, Jarek doing a nice job of blocking Anakin, and all of a sudden Anakin's range one of Poe. And I think, oh, and I think God. Chewie, I think Chewie's uh, active, so that's uh, everything's active. I think. I thought he was going to go towards Temin. It would have been really, I got two bank, boost. Ooh. 
Well, it was definitely one of those things where I thought, like, I mean, Ella was also in a position to, like, instead of doing the four straight, that you could have done the one bank to block Anakin. So maybe he was, like, maybe that was just, oh, wow. That is a dead Anakin. Or down to one, down to one. He had one shield left. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know where the stress are. What was the crit? Uh, here, I got. I'm not so, sure. I did a bad job of tuning in. I actually oh, panicked. Six goes I actually next. muted you by like for like a Range second. But That's bad. They, they were able to hear. Oh, well, okay. So. Range I was zero. fumbling back here. One, one. Two green Only dice. One. One. Yep. Sixes are done. Move on to fives. I'll take a range zero shot here. Sure. Uh, two dice. Hit crit. Oh, oh no. See ya. That is a dead Anakin Skywalker. Uh, that might have just decided the game already. Uh, it's 10 to 1. Well, well you know, still time, but. Uh, You've lost two ships in two rounds, and it's eleven or nine points worth of ships there. Wow. Okay. Ugh. So range two choices at either. Two obstructed. So range two obstructed into wolf. Um, I'll go two obstructed onto wolf. So three dice. And two where? Uh, range two obstructed into wolf. Wait, that yep. was a range two, yes. Make sure, make sure. Yeah, range two obstructed into wolf, so three on two. Um, M9G8 reroll. Yep, oh, M9G8 is so good. Focus oh, rerolls and no blank. No bullseye. So, and then no, no range crits, two, right? so yeah. nothing to selfless. Yep. Oof. And takes two, a lot, just all going Tobin's way here. Oh, now trick shot, or rather, I don't know, Poe already shot. Uh, this is this is the arc into Poe. Poe, of course, did all that damage to Anakin. One crit, and Poe is fine. Took the shield. Oh, okay. I'll probably to um, bring Chewie back into. Back oh, into got the it. Game. Got it. Makes sense. I was wondering. He's like, you could just spend this focus, not just getting shot up by anyone else or whatever. That's why. Uh, Temin for just hit crit. Knocks the crate off. And the crate gets knocked off. That's Nothing to selfless shields. because uh, Oddball's not in uh, not in arc. Clear. Weapons. Oh my gosh. I mean, can some can we get a redeem? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I got it. I got this. It's just it calls for it. <laughs> that's that's the way it feels. <laughs> Shot at the back is only two dice now, but it's hit crit. And spend and just take a shield. There's no crate on Temin, does it? But a crit under the hole. I said a shield, it's it's under the hole. Damage sensor, sensor array? DSA. Um check for Chewbacca. Yep, zero to three. Recover a charge on Chewbacca, so he's charged for next turn. And see if uh click has any shots. Yep. I'll light up. No. 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 Okay. All right. So Nick has how many crates right now? Just just one, I think. Looks like one. Yeah, so BB. BB8. So it would be so it is uh, 11 to 3. Or actually 11 to 2. Cuz uh, we got a crate knocked off of Wolf. So yeah, 9 point gap is not great. And you have the the piece that is the the most squirrely and could do the most spike damage with uh, your force carrier is gone has been blown out of this universe anakin skywalker wanted to uh, 
Uh, shoot into hyperspace a little early here. And we're into the hole, right, of Wolf. So the next piece to maybe fall for Nick would be that Arc 170 there. Wolf, green arc, right behind that debris. So uh, we could see Poe kind of coming in to set up maybe a trick shot in the next round or two. Got 10 minute pursuit, LO in pursuit. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, Steven, you just look at what, what Francois has left and what Nick has, and it's just like, it would have to be a colossal collapse uh, yeah, for, for Tobin. It would something, so many bad things would have to happen. Where do you think, like, besides the obvious with Anakin, where, where do you think it maybe kind of went wrong? Um, the extreme maneuvers set up didn't work. And I think it's, it's also one of those things where, you know, arcs haven't haven't really been in a position where they can do damage and like they, they need to in this list like Anakin can't just I mean so, solo a list and um, I think one of the things that um, when I'm hot like when I'm flown against opponents that are flying arcs that if they if their arcs start off slowly um, then their ability to, to engage and you know, like to inflict damage um, it's just it, it, it goes way way down um and because I think I mean, with that that opening setup, I mean, if he had gone, um, like if he had had the the crate that's now here on the on the bottom left, mm -hmm. um, if he had moved that a little bit further up the board, that um, then Wolf would have been able to pick up the crate and potentially like turn like turn in faster. Whereas like right now it's like he's only he's only had like one attack out the rear with two like with two dice. Obviously the weapons like you can't predict the weapons failure. Um, and I think you're right though. I mean Anakin just didn't get any support. Everything else is just not participating in the engagement. And whereas Nick, every one of Nick's ships has like every single one has taken a shot, at least one. Uh -huh. Actually, each one has taken a shot every chance they've had one they have taken one and i mean francois also hasn't really hasn't been able to uh uh utilize clicks ability um uh, which is i mean that range mitigation is, is huge um but he hasn't like has yeah click isn't clicking charge. yeah yeah um No, and it's one of those things where I mean, the the five like the five ship Republic Seven B Anakin builds are I mean, it definitely feels like I mean it's 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 high ceiling, um, but if you're like if you're if you're not firing all the cylinders, that could be a really quickly hit a low floor and yeah. Um, just one straight. We're just gonna pick up a crate. I imagine. No, we're going to fix damage sensor array. That's right. You can't pick up a crate when you have that. Uh, could you mark a damage off, a shield off of uh, BB-8? BB-8 self. Yep. Uh, thank you. Here come the arcs. Wolf there with a weapons failure. I have no idea where Oddball's gone. Um, I would probably guess like a three bank. So flipping the weapons failure. Okay, so that comes off. <laughs> and Click just really is like he's the little engine that could, you know, he's, he's trying to get up in there. Poe only has, oh, had, oh yeah, yeah. Poe only has ten health left. Jarek, could Jarek grab that crate? I wonder. 
It's close. Temin is in a great spot to grab a crate next turn. And we're slamming. Which then puts Jaeger in, in a great spot to, to pick up a crate next turn as well. Yeah, because he can one hard, right? Mm -hmm. His claim. Couldn't remember if they were white. The act that act that it was a white maneuver. Yeah, let the Wookiee win. And um, that was a few minutes ago he said that, but it feels like everything that could go wrong for Francois has, and that's rough. Indeed. And we are not three banking, we're bumping into the back. of the wolf here and takes a damage. So Oddball loses a shield. Poe with the two bank. And rotates this hurt to the side. Going to retain that stress. Yeah, Poe's flexibility is just, it's... <laughs> it's going to be rough next turn for the arcs because he's just going to coast around and get a trick shot. It's really close. Uh, range two? Yeah, it's really close to range two. Range three. Uh, unobstructed shot. Three reds onto wolf. <laughs> okay. So there's Poe. He rotated his arc. He had Ray for a force. And oh my gosh, I mean, it's, it's another blank out. That's three more damage cards into Wolf. He's down to two hole. This might be range zero. No, we're going um, range one. Oh, M9G8 rolled the eyeball. Oh my god, this crate's gonna knock dodge. <laughs> Just uh, marksmanship. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And it shields into the hole. Ionized. Yep. Disabled power regulator. Yeah, Francois is not, not pleased. I'm, I don't blame him. And I think Oddball had already taken a shield, so I think he's done a five hole. Correct. Elo is worth how many points? Four? Elo's four points, and he's got a shield down. Yeah. All right. I guess yeah, Elo is a shield start, down for uh, some reason. I think I'll... I just don't know where that, when that happened. Uh, um, and how many points is Poe? Poe is seven points, uh, three shields up. Yeah. Honest opinion, Elo. I really like honest opinion, Elo, because Wolf's gonna go down next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go into. I just don't have any mods, so it's a range one. Four All dice. Right. Four dice. All right. Two crits into Elo. Elo has a focus. Elo rolls all paint. T70s are gonna T70, and again, Francois just can't catch a single break. He can't purchase one with all the money he has. Three on two. I'll do. Um, I'll go for BB8. 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 Yeah. yeah, sorry, BB8. That is a. Uh, 
Unobstructed shot, range three. Okay, I'll take that. All right, going range three to BB-8 here. There you go, three. Uh, Reroll. Yep. Okay. So, three. Just a crit, again, uh, BB-8 rolls an evade, of course. Click, range one. BB 8's lost a shield. I mean, you could get a couple points here. Click, bash for bash. three. Spend the lock. BB 8 is Takes gonna take. Crate. Drops the drops hit crit the, and drops I'll the drop crate. The crate. I'll let you figure that out. Uh, hit crit. BB 8 hit. BB 8 crit. Loose stabilizer. Still alive. All that really matters there. I will Gotta go straight to BB 8. Priority. I'll do that range two shot, the range three shot back onto Wolf. Okay. Uh, two dice. I have to shoot him. Two hits. Oh, Wolf. two hits. Wolf gets the evade, survives. Oh, he rolls in one more because it was range three. And uh, Wolf on one hole. And objective wise, this is the thing. I don't think anybody's carrying a crate. So it stays 11 to two. So you head to round four. Again, this is Tobin's game to lose. Has anybody been with us since round one? If you have, definitely let yourself be known in the chat. Thank you to everyone who has stopped by, said hello, watched the games today. I'll be off to LVO starting on Thursday. Definitely take some video, post some stuff on there. Should be fun. Then we'll, we'll revisit our uh, in-person X-Wing strategy, strategizing. Once we get back, we'll be doing some maybe some apartment wing like we've done in the past. Set up the equipment, just stream casually in person at home with the locals. We've done that before several times. So that looking forward to doing that again soon. The podcast is going to start up again. Uh, everyone that's listened to, we have eight episodes, and thank you to those who have. Steven was on not too long ago. Proud of what we've been able to do uh, with the podcast so far. Um, so that'll we'll do our recording once we get back from LVO. Talk about that. Lots to look forward to, for sure. Keeping me busy, that's for sure. Been here since round one. Good way to say awesome. And I'm uh, not awesome that you're sick. I hope you feel better, but thank you for joining us hope we have made you feel better in other ways that aren't your literal health maybe your mental health the last game was good for the soul you know that last game was great this one obviously i think we, we we all wish it was a little closer a little more you know a little more back and forth but uh x-wing is x-wing it's one of those things when you're getting into when, you, when you're getting to the championship rounds just being able to carry that mental focus that you've had to me throughout the days, like it's it's, it's hard. Um, we've we've definitely both been there. We're like you hit that you hit that round four, round five. You're like, like what was I thinking there? Um, yeah. And you know, Nick is Nick has really flown, been flawlessly, and been putting ships where exactly where they needed to be. And um, sometimes it's just like I mean. That, that turns your setup just it puts you in a position where like you're 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 starting from behind and then you have to try to catch up and then you push and um can make for make can make for a tough match yeah it's uh the other thing too is when you get once you get to that top table you're you've had you know you've you've had matchups that might have been more favorable and then you run into that other list it's like oh no the meta monster that i don't want to see for certain um, although I don't think I don't consider um, Poe and friends to be like a meta monster, but it's still very good, obviously. But for example, you know, people are playing on solo players, right? They really don't want to see a top table. They don't want to see uh, Paul Heaver's list with Padme and the three arcs and uh, Anakin, right? That's uh, not fun for Han. Or a bunch of barrage rocket bombers or stuff like that. Remember, I don't remember who it was. If it might have been Ryan Farmer or it was Dune. And one of the fly better guys was talking about how X Wing is like actually like if you compare it like to other like competitive games, not like the most balanced competitive game because there's so many variables mm -hmm. that determine 
uh, the kind of game you're going to have. Matchups are super important in this game. There are some where you just like, it takes a miracle to win if it's in the hands of two very competent players. Dice variability, um, dice results can be volatile, the kind of RNG that you get. Um, yeah, just uh, it's it being the right place at the right time. There's a lot of there's a lot of moving variables, and I think I actually kind of take solace in that a little bit. It makes me feel a little bit better, as you know. Sometimes knowing that just like hey, you know, you, you run into the wrong matchup, you run into things like that. Um, but whenever we start the game, we always feel like hey, I got a chance to win. I'm gonna play my heart out, gonna do my best. But ultimately, you know, there's just there's just some some lists out there that just the list that you love to fly is just not going to have a good time against. Oh, for certain. And it, it feels like right now where, where the meta is at, there's there's so many like, I mean, rock paper scissors are just like well, like if I fly against this list, it's a really good matchup for me. And if I fly against um, this other list, it's not a good matchup for me. Um, and and then the thing that you were good against. Um, is is good against the thing that you're not good against. Yeah. So it's just it's uh, um, oh. oh exactly. Picking up a great with Temin. called that right there. Um, I'm gonna just gonna bump the question is if is it on the gas cloud or not? I don't think so. No, he should, he should be clear there. Rack is S-tier to anything but chance engagement. I'm bringing Rack to LVO. So, but I'm bringing Cam Raceless, but with starters at Vader instead of Boy Vader. I'm, I'm, I, it's, it's definitely asking for a lot, like a four ship list these days, but I, it's, I, 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 I have an invite. It's, I can have a good time. I hope to make cut with it at least. Sometimes you just need to put a decimator on the table. Yeah, and that too. I just painted a pretty dope decimator. I want to rock that on the table. And, you know, people underestimate the power of what Vader can do in a game sometimes. You know, we all know Vader's really good. You don't want to underestimate Vader. Most of us don't, but... The barrage rocket bombers, Jonas makes them just so ridiculously strong. Because you know, like my, my friend Lee Holland flew, or was Rack, uh, Lieutenant the Rear, and then Jonas, Reimer, and Tomax, and uh, oh, his yeah. day, his day of Swiss and Nova went went five and zero, and, and yeah. beat beat some beat some heavy hitters along the way. And yeah, so it was just, um, that was a I scary was, list. It's always one of those things where a lot of times it feels like I mean at the start of a meta that Rack like. You don't see a lot of rack, and then someone's like, "Oh, I'm going to put rack back on the table because I think he's still probably pretty good." And I'm like, "Oh wait, mm -hmm. he is still pretty good," um, because I had uh, 20, 2022 had a chance to, to fly was it rack, um, Iden, Moff Gideon, and then Jingo Jingo Wampa. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I don't, Moff Gideon, so like, good. I don't. Yeah, I certainly for for the health of the game, I don't miss I don't miss those days, but it was fun. It, like that was. I mean, that was certainly, I mean, a lot of fun to fly. And, um, and Rack was just like, you know, Vader Crew is, I mean, one could certainly argue that Vader Crew is actually the best Vader. Vader Crew, yep. Zero to two, spend that force, take a damage, remove a green token. I think the only thing with, so with Rack, obviously, if the ship that you're shooting at is in the matching the front half of your reinforce, you get the eyeball to crit. Um, Ruthless helps with his uh, with his dice a little bit, um, his dice variance. But I feel like it's when you have like a single mod, you spend your force for Vader, which is incredibly mm -hmm. strong. Um, you'd be surprised how many times Rack just gets like one or two hits. So it's also dependent on like I mean what you're flying next to him. So I mean if, if you've got I mean. A bunch like a bunch of ships um like, then there's always the choice of like well am i going to go after the decimator or am i going to go after everything else and i know like i put i put discipline on him and um so it's like he's going to have his ability plus plus the target lock if they're going against everything else and um yeah it's always one of those things where it's like if you go if you go hard into rack and you don't get him um that's i mean like it means you probably neglected the whole the whole rest of the list and 
you're probably gonna find yourself in, in a pretty in a pretty good, a pretty yeah. good spot. So, um, True. or if you got Minister Two on on rack, then like once he's like, oh, the, like my shields are down. Oh no, um, like then then you can then you can grab that target lock and then get the the stress. That's direct. Before, so oh no, a direct into oddball down to three. Yes. Maybe even just two, because he had one from before. Was it just the, the crit that went through? It's just the crit that went yeah. through. Yeah. So yeah, it should be down to three, because the direct. I see three damage cards there. Maybe eight, huh? Yep. Still 11. Got one hall left. Yeah. Oh, that BB-8. You taunt do, me. Uh, po. Yep, range three, two dice. Oh, I'm gonna shoot it into Poe. That's... Why? Target lock. Uh, you have a focus available with Oddball. Oh, I do have a focus. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I'll spend the focus. All right, so three. Poe loses two shields. Just gonna spend Ray to not take the third shield. Okay. Jarek. We'll take the range. Oh, you're not on the there. Range two, two. onto oddball. Sure. Uh, two dice with a focus. Focus. So two hits from Jarek and oddball. Oddball takes two down to one. Both shields down. No, just both still has one shield left. Yeah. Then oddball down to one. Ello gonna shoot into Wolf. And I will do this just because I can, but I do also see Wolf might be at one hole right now. So I gotta be careful with crits. So um, what? I have to be careful with crits because Oddball could take it off and let yeah. Wolf live. And, yeah. So I'll do Ello and die in the process. Two bullseye onto Wolf. Um, Jeez. M9. M9 G8 for two and a crit. Hit crit. Uh, don't don't spread it with oddball. Three, four, five. So yep, hit crit. Take it with wolf. Okay. Alright, that is a dead wolf. BBA could be the one to get rid of oddball. Or Temin, actually. This game is gonna end soon. Temin has no shot. Oh, no shot. Okay. Um, Click has a no shot. No shot. So automated target priority. I'll take a range two at oddball. Two dice. BB-8. Uh-oh. Calculate oh. for one. One. Hey, he gets the evade. Look at that, everybody. Then it looks like both sides have a crate. Yes. Can we play one more? 16 to 4. Or to 3, actually. Um, it's uh, one of the larger gaps of games I've seen on stream in a while. Certainly a blowout. Yeah, you gotta, got to tip your, your captain, Nick, because he's, he's just flown... I mean, about as close to a flawless match as you're going to get. Yeah, uh, for sure. He's taken taken advantage of good positioning. Um, dice have been decent, but nothing crazy where I'm like, holy shit. He's, he's re-rolled a few times to get the results he needs with M9G8. So the one thing with T70s, they, they, there, there's so many ways, the effective, efficient ways that they can modify their dice. Bullseye mechanics, M9G8, R68, all that, you know, stuff like that too. Um, Jess with her built-in ability. And they're all relatively cheap, so the, the point spread is pretty palatable. The only one that has cost anything is, is Poe, and I mean, it's almost impossible to catch them. Yeah, and then the ability to, to cycle into T70s in and out of combat. Um, yeah. 
He's like, I was shooting at that. I was shooting at that T seventy. Like now it's just now it's gone. Yep. Okay. Now you can shoot at a new one with all of its home shields. All right. So round five, Tobin first player. Doesn't matter too much. We got we got the uh, the game stands on one hole of oddball. Who is uh, who should be ionized, right? Stable power regulator. Do they remember? Is there two ion tokens? It looks like there's only the one that's out. I'm not even sure it's worth like. I mean, it's certainly a game state thing, but I just don't, the oddball won't live. No, I don't. It won't really matter. Hey, there's a bomb. <laughs> a boom? Seismic charge third. We'll hit LO. The one heart with the eager. Yeah, it makes, that makes a lot all the sense. So he does the ion maneuver anyways, or if if he didn't, he's still doing it. <laughs> like if you forgot, he still did the the maneuver. So Looking to acquire the lock now, so throwing that on the uh... How did the... Oh, got it. Never mind, I get it. It's Oddball's ability. And the Grim Reaper. There he is. Takes the focus. Let's go home. Oh, Ray, he has a Ray Force, a focus, and a lock. All he needs is two hits. And Chewy. And Chewy. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think it's, it's going to be like, I'm here. If I had to guess. And see ya. That is the game. So we will... Uh, we'll find out who wins the world's invite. There's still time left in this game. So what I advise is uh, you can go, you can look at roll better in a little bit, and you'll be able to see who uh, who the second place player will be the recipient of the world's invite. Steven, do you have any insight? Or are we still waiting on things? So we're checking right now to see if we have any response for Randy. And as of right now, nothing, nothing yet. Got it. So we will mark on ball off, and then I got gotcha. you. And then how many? It just one crate, I think, for Nick right now. Yes. And they're still doing shooting, but. So twenty-one to four is the final. Would be the final. Okay, it's just an absolute massacre. Into BB-8 for the kill. The BB-8 will die. That will get that will get France five to six. Oh, go for it! Go for it! There we go. So it did take a ship off the board. Unfortunately, it was only the two point ship. So, congrats to Nick winning another store champ here.
final score 21 to 6 there's the handshake not particularly close but good sportsmanship good play by both players today francois congrats three and one very very based, impressive based not too shabby all, basically get the invite so we'll see as to how the, how the strength of the schedule breaks out that's true there's so francois would also be in the running right to get that roll down invite he does not have one yet as we uh, talked about earlier all right Uh, what are we doing, autofocus? What are we doing? Do I need to scoot in? Hello? There we go. Jeez, it was just all blurry. All right, really quick, before we sign off, uh, let me pull up. I want to thank all of our patrons one more time here for supporting us here, 312 Squadron. I want to thank Michael, Justin, Mark, John, Joshua, Daniel, Alex, Steven, Matt, Peter, Andrew, and Scott, thank you all so much for supporting us uh, at our Patreon. You can do exclamation point Patreon. We do a bunch of cool stuff, swag included. We just started up, and we are super humbled and really do appreciate all the support you guys have already given us. Steven, thank you very much for joining me and for supporting us in all the ways that you have. Congratulations on the new job. Very happy and excited for you. So, uh, the, 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 oh, man, the handshake really threw off the camera's autofocus. I was like, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, super happy for you, man. I know uh, you won't be able to make worlds, but uh, I'm sure uh, you know you'll be able to continue to play X-wing, and we'll see you around on online. And uh, you'll have your a new local group. You said in Mississippi, right? Yes. Okay, got it. I don't know what the X-wing X-wing scene is like, and uh, <laughs> it's so weird uh, in in Mississippi. But I'm sure you said you, I think you looked into it a little bit, right? Yes. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate all of you tuning in on this chilly Sunday here at Grognard's Batavia. Another successful 312 stream. And there was no refrigerator compressor that interfered with our video signal like it's spellbound. So I'm glad I didn't have to deal with that because that was a, a bit of a nightmare. So thank you all. Uh, the camera, you know, and Sony, what are you doing to me? All right. We will see you all very soon. I'll be at LVO. Check out our Discord, Explanation Point Discord, Explanation Point Patreon, Explanation Point Sponsor. Thank you, Straw Strike. And I hope you have a great rest of your, well, the week is ending, but a great rest of your Sunday evening and a good week ahead. 